Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Tutorial video. This is Vishnu and today I'm going to talk about 2013 new YouTube channel design named as One Channel. Also, I would like to share the banner template or channel art of this new design with all of you. So keep watching. I hope you already know that YouTube has changed the channel design in the beginning of 2013 and named it as One Channel. I started using this new design recently. So far, this new design is optional. Publishers can use this for their channel or stay back with the old design. But you know, I guess eventually every channel will be changed to this new one. Currently, if you are using the new design and you want to switch back to the old one, then you can go to the option over here, learn more about the new design. Once you click on that, it will take you to a new page, which is www.youtube.com slash one channel. You can access this page directly if you are already logged in. Then go to the bottom of this page and there will be one option to switch back to the old design. YouTube has made lots of changes on the overall interface or on channel design in last couple of years. And every time it happened, mostly users and publishers initially used to express mixed reaction. So no exception this time as well. Actually, people get used to a specific design. Now when they are given a new design suddenly, they are not used to it and they do not find things in the same way they used to find earlier. This is obvious that in such case, some people used to criticize changes or absence of features in the new design. I think we also need to look at various advantage and improvements in it. So let me share my understanding here in terms of various improvements and advantages I see in this design. Number one, this new design creates same look and feel across various electronic devices like computer, mobile, tablets, televisions, etc. In recent days, internet access from smartphone, tablet or even from smart TV has increased enormously. So this step towards the new age is necessary. Here while uploading your channel art, you would be able to see how your channel art looks like on the desktop, on the TV or on the mobile. Check out the description of this video to download the GIMP template of this new design. You can change colors of various layers, add logo, text, additional pictures to create your customized channel art. Let me quickly explain you various dimensions of this new channel art. The channel art has to be a picture with resolution of 2560 by 1440. This entire area 2560 by 1440 is only going to be displayed on television. Now the area on the middle is going to be displayed on all other device. A computer with highest resolution would be able to display the entire area in the middle which is 2560 by 423. A computer with medium resolution or a tablet would be able to display the next area which is 1855 by 423. The area in the middle 1546 by 423 is the area going to be covered by all devices like a desktop with minimum resolution, a tablet, a desktop with maximum resolution or a television. So that is why this area is named as safe area. Safe area is the key to this new design. So keep your logo, important text or other pictures inside this area so that it can be displayed across all device. You may also keep other pictures or text or logo on other areas to make sure that it doesn't look bad on other device. Now let's move to the next point. Number two, this new design gives us a better integration of channels with YouTube main page. If you look at a channel using this new design, it feels like it's a part of YouTube. But when we look at a channel using the old design, it looks like you are being taken to some other place from the YouTube main page. Number three, more professional look of your channel. Your channel banner is right on top of your channel. It is not scattered across the page. And personally, I believe that this new channel banner is much more easier to create compared to the old design. Number four, providing more control with various new options for publishers to arrange their content on the channel. Here you can add a section with option of popular upload, 
recent uploads, all playlists, likes, recent posts, recent activities, single playlist or tag. And also you can arrange your section with horizontal row or with a vertical list. So this actually gives you a better control of what kind of content you want to display on your channel and how you want to display them on your channel. A section can be moved up or down to arrange your content based on what you want to display first and what you want to display as last. Also there is an edit option to change the property of that particular section. Number five, this is also a very important feature of this new design where you can play a trailer of your channel to people who are not yet subscribed to your channel. Whereas people that are already subscribed to your channel gets a different view of this featured video area. On the unsubscribed trailer, also it is nice to have more description of a video displayed with the featured video. I would like to highlight a couple of more nice features about this new design. It's a nice integration of your channel avatar on top of the channel banner. Here various social media links are placed very nicely on top of your banner. You can have various other external links placed on the banner as well, maybe a link to your website. Here on the right again we get to see various featured channel, then related channels. Here on the left it is pretty much the same as what you see when you logged on to YouTube main page. You have access to various other channels you subscribed to. Altogether it looks pretty good to me. So what do you think about this design? Please use the comment section for your feedback. I will appreciate if you like and share this video. Subscribe to stay in touch. Thank you for watching tech tutorial video. See you soon with another one.